So here I'm going to uh, go through the process of uh, getting a uh, standard multitrack into the main stage environment. <clears throat> so this would be like uh, either from a uh, Ableton project that like you would see coming from like a multitracks.com or a loop community site or if you make your own um, it might be a little bit different but I'm just going to assume a lot of a lot of where we get our multitracks from is from a multitrack site which is going to be in the Ableton format and so we have to uh, kind of do a process to get it into main stage uh, but the good news is is that you do that process once and then every time you call up that uh, that song for a set it's a lot quicker so I'm just gonna go through that process now so I'm gonna actually go, go to a, a song I just uh, picked up off of multitracks and here it is here uh, that's the one now I typically want to do this in logic um, and that is my preferred choice and if, if you have the ability or if you have logic uh, that would be the better um, option to use but since a lot of people don't have logic and since uh, GarageBand is pretty much free on every on every pretty recent Mac I'm gonna go ahead and use um, GarageBand because you can do it on GarageBand and you still get the same transient data and marker information that MainStage is gonna need so I'm gonna go into GarageBand Let's see here. Let's go to new project. And I guess I have to pick one of these, so I really need something just blank, but perhaps I can just click. I'll just click on this for. And I'm going to call this the same name as the song, which is You Never Let Go. So I could fill out all this information now if I know it. Um, I actually don't know it right now. I know the key is B, so I'll go ahead and set that. It doesn't really matter because we're not going to be playing any instruments that are going to need to be tuned. Um, and I don't know what the uh, tempo is, but we'll we'll figure it out. I know it's in 4-4. Four four. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And so now it opens up, you know, our standard GarageBand window, and we have a, a track here that we we don't need. So before I can delete this, I need to actually drag my other um, stems from the Ableton project. And so if I go over to it, um, I have a feeling GarageBand's not going to let me drag these directly because they are MP3s. But I might luck out. So inside the samples folder in the imported folder of the Ableton project uh, I can get access to these mp3s uh, I don't want these a a ASD files because those are specific to Ableton so I don't need those so I'm just gonna select every other one just the mp3s whoops I did something wrong. Okay, get rid of that one. So I think that's it. Now I'm going to give a shot. Maybe it won't let me do this, but yep, it's going to let me add them. So then it's importing the files directly into the into the project. And this will take a few moments because it's got to do them individually. <clears throat> 